everybody, welcome to another episode of DeLorean Tech, and today we are going to install the speed box, which is a replacement for the angle drive system in the DeLorean. So the whole purpose of replacing this unit is to bypass the failure-prone angle drive with an electronic unit that uses GPS-derived speed to drive the DeLorean speedometer. This was purchased at Speed Hut www.speedhut.com and it takes about an hour to hour and a half to install prep work so we disconnected the battery uh, we've got the speedo cables un unhooked from the lambda counter um, we've got the binnacle off completely and now we're going to tap into the door buzzer so there's a black wire in the second position that has to be cut and stripped There it is right there. Okay, cool. So go ahead and strip that. So in addition to the black wire, we are going to do an optional cut and strip, the purple wire coming from the buzzer connector. The reason why we're gonna do that is that will provide the speed box constant power uh, in order to enable it to have faster acquisition of satellites for the GPS. It draws very, very little power while doing this so again it's optional we just want a, a quick response a, a better performing system so here are the two wires that we have stripped and ready to go these are coming from the buzzer harness so we've got the black wire and we've got the purple constant 12 volt source wire so here's the harness that comes with the speedbox gps unit and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be attaching a butt connector to the black wire and we're going to be attaching a butt connector to the red and black wire. The red and black wire is the optional 12 volt constant power. So the speed box also comes with an inline fuse that you're going to want to connect to the red wire coming off the wiring harness. Got both cables off there. Okay, so we've already disconnected the LAN counter. And we've cut the connector off that. Next we're gonna attach the wire that's coming from the male part of the connector to the other end of the fused wire, which is the red wire right here. So it states you don't have to reuse a Lambda connector. You could just cut and splice the green wire from the Lambda connector on your car's harness. Okay, so we have the black wire coming from the speed box harness, has a butt connector on it, and so does the red wire or the red and black wire. Yeah. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is attach butt connectors to the ends of the fused red wire that comes with the kit. So they provide a photo of what that looks like. Now the instructions say that you only need to partially remove the binnacle, but we went ahead and removed the whole thing just to be able to see into this a lot better and also for the filming. So this is the lambda counter right here, and this is the white connector that you're going to need to tap into. So there's different ways of doing this. You so the lambda harness to the car is right here. So this is the lambda harness going to the car. Instead of cutting this off and connecting it to the red wire to the unit you can actually cut this green wire off and splice that directly to the unit via the fused power cable. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut into the white Lambda harness connector and we're gonna splice this to the red power wire going to the new unit. So we just spliced the fused power wire to the Lambda harness here, the male connector. Okay, so the next step is to connect the speed box wiring harness to the speed box. You just plug it in like this. Good to go. Okay, so these are the instructions that come with the speed box. This kind of shows you the general connections that you make to the unit itself. These instructions that we're using right here were obtained from the DMC Talk DeLorean forum online. 
So I'll drop a link in the description uh, so you can go ahead and access this as well. So we're working with the unit right now. We've just connected the wiring harness to it. Now we are going to connect the GPS antenna as well as a speedo cable. So we're connecting the speedometer cable right now. Pretty easy. And the GPS antenna. So here's the GPS antenna that it comes with. So we're gonna go ahead and just connect that to starting right here. Make sure that's nice and secure. And now we're all wired up. So we've got our GPS antenna, the main wiring harness, and the speedometer cable all connected to the unit. So the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is locate the bolt that's right behind the door pin switches. So this is what we're gonna connect the unit to, okay? So that's a 10 millimeter. We're just gonna go ahead and remove that and attach the unit. So we're removing the, the nut, and there's also a couple washers there as well. So we've got our unit in hand, and we're gonna go ahead and attach it to that bolt right here. Just gotta clip, make sure there's no wires in the way. There you go, and I'm gonna go ahead and replace the washers and the nut. Now the instructions say that when you're installing this, you wanna keep the Speedo cable as horizontal as possible. So, we're not gonna tighten this bolt down just yet. That's gonna be one of the final steps. So the Speedo cable has to be aligned, but we're gonna tighten it down just enough so it doesn't move around too much. So now that we have the speed box in position, we're gonna go ahead and make these connections here. The red and black wire is gonna be connected to the purple wire coming from the car, and the black wire from the harness is gonna be connected from the black wire from the car. And these are the two wires that we stripped from the buzzer box. So we're gonna go ahead and connect those two together. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna plug the old Lambda connector that we've reused here for the, for the fuse. We're going to plug that back into the original Lambda harness right here. And lastly, we're going to make our power connection. So from the unit, the red wire, connected to the fused wire that we connected to the Lambda harness. So if you've taken your binnacle off, like we have here, you might want to consider routing the GPS antenna inside here somewhere while it's open before you put the binnacle back on. But really, this is your preference as to where you want to route the GPS antenna. So when you connect the new Speedo cable to the back of the binnacle, it's pretty easy to do. This isn't the new one, this is the old one, but for demonstration purposes, you just slide that in there like this, push a little clip down, and it holds it in. So now we'll put the new one on. Okay, so we've routed the Speedo cable up through the dash here, and we're gonna go ahead and make the connection to the binnacle. So we are routing the GPS antenna into the same location as the new Speedo cable. You're gonna to want to install it on something that it isn't going to rub against. So we thought a good place to place the GPS antenna would be somewhere inside the binnacle. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and do. So the GPS, yeah, so this GPS antenna 
um, actually has a magnetic backing, so if you were to put on something right there, it'll stick pretty good. But fortunately, there's not a whole lot to choose from here in the binnacle. So we're just going to go ahead and use some double-sided tape, some VHB tape, and secure it. Okay, so we've got some VHB tape, and we're going to apply it to the back of the GPS antenna, and then connect that to the binnacle. So, once you connect the GPS antenna, just apply some pressure for about 20 seconds. So lastly, we're going to make our final connection, the new Speedo cable to the binnacle. Just push that in there. So, once you get that clip on there, you're good to go. So now your installation is complete. Put everything back together and give it a test drive.